Hi students, myself Dr. Trina Dattu, Assistant Professor, Chemistry Department. Today in my introductory class, I am going to discuss the chemistry of polymer materials. And first of all, you join my class and you will get entire content of on polymer materials. And from the prerequisite knowledge, you are very aware about the polymers. So poly means many and mars mean units. So it is a multiple of units. So there is always the repetition of the units. So if we get the example from the real life, like say you are writing on the paper. So can you tell that by which polymer it is made of? Yes, yes, it is from plants. So it is a cellulose C6H12O5 whole in. Now, I am taking any example of the electrical materials like say switch boards or switches. Can you tell that which materials it is made of? So, it is the Bakelite phenol formaldehyde resin and also you will learn how to prepare Bakelite in the chemistry lab. So, today I am going to tell, going to tell about all the polymeric materials used in our daily life and also in industry. For chemistry, the subject code is CH101 for odd semester and CH201 for even semester. And this is the course the electrical EC and BME will learn in the odd semester and CCIT civil mechanical will learn in the even semester. And for this course, the prerequisite knowledge is required that is the 12 standard. So today I will tell about polymer. And I hope that you have the idea about polymer as you have learned in the 11 and 12 standard. So basically chemistry tells about the materials. All materials you are using in your daily life, in the industrial application, everywhere. So as for example, you are, uh, okay, one question that you are, everyone is writing notes. You have the copy in your bag. So can you tell that by which material the paper is made of? Anyone? Yes, that is the cellulose. Cellulose is one of the polymer. What is the structure of it? That is C6H12O5 whole in. So you can see that one difference that there is a number that is N. N may be 100 in maybe 1000 that is the multiple of molecules. Let's say if I write water H2O I am not writing that H2O in that is the single molecule. If I write like say ethylene CH2 double bond CH2 ethylene so, I am not writing the whole in. So, it is the single molecule. Now, what is the polymer? Polymer, there will be the repetition of the unit. So, poly means multiple and mar means, mar means unit. So, polymer is the repetition of the unit. So if I give example by the structure you can understand more clearly. So like say it is the ethylene. So this one is single unit that is the monomer. Now, how we will make it polymer? 
polymer. So after the polymerization process, number of N, number of ethylene will be combined by the method that is called polymerization. We get polyethylene. So how you will write the polyethylene structure? First of all, I will write the similar structure. This one is the ethylene structure. Now, to make it the repeating unit, first step is to remove the double bond. Then, this carbon will have another hand because you know that carbon has four hands. So, one, two, three for two hydrogen, it is the another hand. For this carbon, one, two, three, it is the another hand. So, this one is called repeating unit. Now, you have to write here N. So, N number of ethylene will be combined by the bond and we get the polyethylene structure. Polyethylene. Okay, how that is how it is, it looks like basically. So, if I write in this way, CH2, CH2, again, so it is one of the unit, single unit, like say A, again we are writing CH2, CH2, so it is also another unit A, CH2, CH2, and for the continuation, we will give this type of symbol for the continuation. So here are the multiple of the that means repetition of the units. So you understand the features of the polymer there must be a repetition of unit repeating of the unit. Clear? So now I will ask one question that chlorophyll it is also macromolecule. But is it a poly polymer or not? Polymer is the macromolecular concept. Because it is not a single molecule. There may be hundred, there may be thousand of molecules. And the molecular weight is very high. So it is called the macromolecular concept. Okay, now... The question is that chlorophyll, chlorophyll you know very well that is the green part that remains in the green part of the plants, leaves, leaves of the plants we get chlorophyll. So this material, I am telling about the material. So this is also a macromolecule but is it a polymer? Yes or no? No, it is not a polymer. Why not? Because Although it is a macromolecule, but it don't have, it does not have any repeating unit. So to become a polymer, to become a polymer, repeating unit is must. Repeating unit is must. Okay. Okay, now I will show few structures of the polymers. Also, I will tell the applications. So, first I will write monomer structure. Then I will get the polymer structure. So first of all I will give the most common example that is called polyethylene. Polyethylene you know that it is the plastic materials we use in the uh, in the for the plastic bags or polyethylene polypropylene all these are the plastic materials we uh, make different types of plastic items like uh, say chair plastic chair tiffin box packaging industries we can use all this plastic material. So polyethylene. First we take the monomer. 
you know very well that is the ethylene. Ethylene, now how we get the repeating structure? CH2 double bond CH2. To make the repeating, repeating unit, I told you first step is to remove the double bond. So you remove this double bond, so the carbon will get hands. Now, here you give N. So this is called polyethylene. Ethylene, from this we get the polymer that is called polyethylene. The next is polypropylene. So to make the polypropylene, first we have to know the structure of propylene. So how we will write it? Replace one hydrogen. You write here a methyl group. That is the structure of propylene. Now, the same thing. Only remove this two and give here one methyl group. That is the polypropylene. Okay, everybody is clear? Next is, if I tell like polyvinyl chloride. PVC you have heard very well. That means PVC pipe we use, use nowadays. And in the chemistry lab, you will see that uh, the materials like uh, glass beaker or measure, measuring cylinder. All these are and also the bullet. These are now made of PVC. Nowadays, before we used the glasses, but nowadays we use PVC. Why? Because it is not breakable and there are lots of flexible properties and lighter in weight. So, to make the PVC, first of all, we have PVC full form is polyvinyl chloride. So, what is the structure of vinyl chloride? First, we have to write the structure of vinyl chloride. So instead of CH3, I am writing chloride, chlorine. So this is the structure of vinyl chloride. Now, if you remove this CH3 and write down chlorine, then it will become polyvinyl chloride, PVC. Okay, you learned how to make it? Next. If I write polystyrene, so first of all we have to write the structure of styrene. So this is the structure of styrene. Replace chlorine and write here a benzene ring instead of chlorine. That is the structure of styrene. Now similar way I told you. The make the repeating unit, remove the double bond and we get the repeating unit. Instead of chlorine, we write here benzene ring. That is the structure of polystyrene. Okay, so you have learned the different structure of polymers like polyethylene, polypropylene, polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene. And these are very commonly used polymers and the easiest structure, I can say. Now, if I ask that you use the non-stick fry pan in the home for kitchen, yes, do you know by which material it is made of? The coating, the black coating in the non-stick frying pan. Which material is used here? This is called Teflon. Teflon. Teflon, the name is poly tetra fluoroethylene. P-T-F-E, poly tetra fluoroethylene. So what is the structure? 
So first of all, we write tetrafluoroethylene. You know the structure of ethylene that is C This is the structure of ethylene. Now, tetrafluoroethylene. So, instead of hydrogen, we write here fluorine. Easy? This is very easy. Okay. So, this is the structure of tetrafluoroethylene. Now, I will write the same thing here to make you understand. So, this is the monomer structure. Now, to make the repeating unit, what is the first step I told? Yes, to remove the double bond. So, the carbon will have one hand because carbon must have four hands. This carbon will have another hand. Now give the bracket and put here L. So this is the structure of poly tetra fluoro ethylene. So you have learned another use. Okay if now uh, think about the electrical items, electrical goods. Say here is the switchboard or switches. Can you tell that by which material it is made of? Yes, anyone? Yes, this is the Bakelite. The name of this polymer is Bakelite. Bakelite is a thermosetting polymer. That is a three dimensional structure, very complicated structure. But I will write in such a way you can write the structure very easily. So, Bakelite also you will prepare in the chemistry lab. So, what are the reagents to make it? This is the phenol and formaldehyde. This is phenol, formaldehyde, resin. So, I will write in this way. First, draw the structure of phenol. Okay, another structure of phenol. Another structure of phenol. Now connect by CH2. Connect by CH2. In this way. So this one is one chain. I will draw another chain. Just the direction will be the opposite. Like this. Phenol. That is phenol now joined by CH2 it is coming from formaldehyde then connect this two chain by CH2 so in this way you are getting the full structure of Bakelite. So, you have learnt the structure of the materials by which the switchboard and the switches are made of. Okay. Okay. Now, can you tell that what is the monomer of natural rubber? Yes. That is 2 methyl. Okay. I am writing here. This one is 2 methyl. Okay, first write the carbon. Then give the hydrogen, number of hydrogen that is 
2 here is no hydrogen required here will be CH2 here is one hydrogen that is the structure of 2 methyl 1 3 buta diene so this is the monomer of natural rubber now what will be the repeating unit first i will write the same thing now what i have told you remove the double bond remove the double bond then this carbon will one hand this carbon also will hand in the outer side and this two carbon will combine that means will make another bond so this one is called cis isoprene cis isoprene is the repeating unit isoprene is the monomer IUPAC name is 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene and the repeating unit is cis isoprene now this one is the polymer of the cis isoprene that is called poly cis isoprene that is the polymer of the natural rubber so this one you have learned the polymer of the natural rubber the structure so you have learned lots of application what you have learned today you have learned number one if i summarize that is you have learned monomer number two you have learned what is polymer number three you have learned the different application of the polymer so not only in the field of our daily life but also in field of many engineering field number four you have learned to write the structure of the polymers so what is your task your task is to write five names of different polymers along with structure and along with application in your respective stream okay so i am giving you my course code that is code is dmbc the subject code is dmbc so you have to join first taste.com and you do first the registration then join with my code that is dmbc then you can avail all the digital content i have already uploaded all the assignments the semester question everything you can read from at any time anywhere you can do the study and then i have given your assignment what is the assignment for today? You write, you have to write down five names of the polymer along with their application and their structure. So create your lesson, then share with my code. That is the task today. And you have learned for the properties of polymer like flexibilities for the lighter weight, it can be used in any of the engineering field and polymer is very important nowadays the polymer composite the nanomaterials so we are doing the research and development 
in all engineering fields. So the polymer is very important. So you need to study about all the polymer materials and all the different advanced polymer materials we are using to make the advancement. Okay, thank you students.